Beware of false prophets. Please do not only listen to these testimonies in this channel, but also take a step further to subscribe so that you may not miss out on any update available. The devil is busy raising false prophets that will lead many to hell in this end time. Jesus Christ warned the elect saints to be watchful. The reason why many fall into the hands of false prophets is that they are ignorant of the scriptures, secondly some are running after signs and wonders. The Bible warns the elects that false signs and miracles will be performed by the wolves in sheep's clothing of the last days 1 Thessalonians 2, 9. Matthew 24 24 For there shall arise false Christs, and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Jesus warns the church to be beware of wolves who come to you in sheep's clothing. Any pastor or prophets who sell ticket for people to attend church programs and crusade is a wolf. Any pastor or prophet who sells handkerchief, anointing oil, miracle water, etc., is a wolf. They are like Simon the sorcerer who wanted to buy the power of the Holy Ghost that he may be using it to do business. Acts 8 18-20, And when Simon saw that through laying on of the apostles' hands the Holy Ghost was given, he offered them money, saying, Give me also this power, that on whomsoever I lay hands, he may receive the Holy Ghost. But Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee, because thou hast thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money. Most of these false prophets and pastors have gone diabolical. They are in the occult and they are operating with the power of Satan. 2 Thessalonians 2, 9, Even him, whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. There are many demonic pastors and prophets in the world today. Some has even come with a demonic message that except you come to their church, you are going to hell fire. They tell their followers that they are the last messenger to mankind. Many are following these wolves to hell, thinking they are on the right path. There is this recent false prophet known as Kaku Philippe. He teaches his followers that any pastor that is not ordained by him is going to hell fire. He also teaches that he is the last messenger to mankind and whosoever is not under his ministry is going to hell fire. The message of these false prophets, false pastors and false teachers are highly deceptive that if you are not sound in the word of God, you will be deceived by them. Peter warned one of the early churches in 2 Peter 2, 1, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. There was a particular American false pastor who is late now. When he was alive, he had many followers. He taught that the blood of Jesus is too holy to be called in prayers, therefore his members must not call upon the blood of Jesus Christ when praying. He also taught that Christians should not always mention the name of Jesus Christ when preaching to unbelievers, instead they should preach the gospel of the kingdom. He also said Jesus is just a door into the kingdom of God, and since you have entered through the door, you have entered once and for all, therefore you don't really need Jesus. Any church that tells members not to mention the blood of Jesus Christ is an occultic church because at the mentioning of the blood of Jesus Christ, demons flee. The blood of Jesus Christ is so powerful that it is the only thing that could defeat Satan when he rebelled against God in heaven. Revelation 12, 9-12, And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation, and strength, and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his Christ, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea! For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. It is because of this short time that the devil has that he has raised many false prophets up. He knows that the rapture will happen any moment from now, therefore he wants to lead many astray. The church who claims to be the mother of all churches is a false church because they practice all the abominations that God spoke about in the Bible. They claim they are direct successors of Apostle Peter and all their popes have the same authority Peter has. They say Peter was the first pope which is a lie. Peter was never addressed by the title pope. 
They say Peter was given the keys of the kingdom of heaven and their popes are successors of Peter. Just as Jesus gave Peter the keys of the kingdom of heaven when he declared Jesus as the Son of God in Matthew 16 18-19, he gave it likewise to all the other apostles and disciples who confess him as the Son of God Matthew 18 18-19. Therefore, it was not only Peter that had the keys of the kingdom of heaven as this false church claimed. Everyone who believes in the Lord Jesus Christ has these keys, thereby making us to access God directly. If you do not know the scriptures deeply in these last days, you will be greatly deceived. Of recent, some false occultic pastors, like Duncan, Selman, Bushiri, Jerry, etc., did a crusade in which they were holding a sword. They said that sword is the word of God. This sword carries the hexagram star that is on the flag of Israel which many are deceived to believe it is the star of David. This demonic star is not the star of David. The Bible never calls any symbol the star of David. This demonic star symbol is the star of Moloch Satan that the rebellious house of Israel is using to provoke God to anger. Amos 5:26 But ye have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch and Chi in your images, the star of your God, which ye made to yourselves. Acts 7:43 Yea, ye took up the tabernacle of Moloch, and the star of your God Remphan, figures which ye made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. We are in the last days. Go closer to the Bible than ever before. Many false churches and false prophets are leading many to hell. If you are still in a false church that preaches a prosperity gospel, allows seductive and Jezebel dressings, selling of miracles, praying to saints and angels, praying to the dead, praying to Mary, image worship, spraying perfumes and incense during church service, burning of candles, and other demonic practices the early church never did in Acts of the Apostles, you better run out of that false church and look for a heavenly-minded church where you will be taught the truth of the...